How are we doing, everybody? Well, got some parts here. Because I've got a little 4x4 conversion update for you guys. First of all, we have our little 4x4 indicator light harness. This end right here plugs into the shift position switch on the transfer case. And this plug plugs into the uh, plug that is uh, by the tail end of the transmission. So this harness will allow me to have the 4x4 and low range lights on the cluster come on. Plug and play operation. Very nice. We've also got a genuine Ford tail shaft housing gasket for a 4R 70W transmission. And then we have our extension housing to transfer case gasket. I actually picked up all three of those things on eBay. That's just a generic gasket. And however, I wanted to go genuine Ford on the tail shaft housing gasket. And then the only way to get this harness here is uh, from Ford. Now, this um, harness here is discontinued. There is somebody who on eBay, they have a whole bunch of them. Probably bought out a Ford dealer parts department or whatever. Um, if you're interested, I will have a link down below in the description for the harness and both of the gaskets. And now, so tomorrow morning, going to pick up the transmission in Springfield, Mass at Springfield Auto Recyclers. Transmission has got 113,000 miles on it. Uh, no chips were in the pan when they drained the fluid and the fluid was clean. They tested it. Tested good. So, paying 375 for that transmission. After I do that, I've actually got to go stop on my way back to see the kid who I actually bought my truck from. I've got to take a look at the live oil pumps on his boat for him. Then I'll be stopping at my dad's shop to pick up the transfer case, the cross member, the braces for the cross member, the rear drive shaft, everything else, so that next week I can drop my truck off at my buddy's garage and have the transmission, transfer case, and rear drive shaft installed. So see you guys tomorrow once we have our transmission uh, in the back of the truck. Alrighty everybody. Saturday afternoon and we are home. And as you can see we've got our 1996 4x4 4R70W transmission back of the truck. Well, like I said I went up to Springfield Mass to pick it up to Springfield Auto Recyclers uh, slash Tembi Auto Parts picked it up, uh, put it in the back of the truck made those few stops I had to make on the way home and we're home now I also picked up a uh, Wix uh, trans filter and gasket kit which I'm actually going to be putting in this evening after I take the tranny and I'm going to just hose it down with some gunk. And what we're also going to be doing is taking and we're going to make up our 1356 Borg Warner transfer case up to the transmission. Now we're actually going to be using this extension housing. Uh, I really don't want to be messing with these uh, bolts here because they probably may not come out. So, like I said, we're not going to mess with them. And, like I said, I am going to take some gunk, engine degreaser, and just hose down the tranny. Get everything all nice and cleaned up, ready for my buddy to install. Um, and what I also want to do is I want to have my buddy swap over the shift lever as well as the, uh, the perindle switch. That basically just tells the uh, computer what gear the transmission is in. It's actually in park right now. And if we move it, we can put it in. That's reverse. 
that would be neutral, drive, second, and first. So it shifts nice. And as you can see when we got it in park, locks up just fine. We're going to put it in neutral. And it turns. It's a little stiff going in one direction. I'm not sure why that is. But uh, probably means that the uh, all the clutch plates are in nice condition. So I will bring you guys back once I've got the transmission hosed down and uh, got the pan pulled off. And we'll uh, change out that filter and gasket. And uh, we'll just have a look and uh, see what everything looks like. So I'll bring you guys back in a little while. Bye. Alrighty, we got our trans all cleaned up. Got the pan pulled off. You can see we made a huge crime scene on the back of the truck with ATF. But I'll be able to clean that up. And see the pan is looks beautiful inside. So not much on the magnet at all. Well, got a little bit of material, but that's pretty normal. So, I'm going to clean up the pan. We're going to clean up the gasket, actually, because this is a reusable gasket and probably an OEM Ford gasket. We're going to put the new filter on and uh, button her back up. So, see you guys when we get our uh, transmission pan all uh, back on. Alrighty, we got our transmission all back together now. We got our crime scene all cleaned up. Now we are going to take and unbolt our 1356 manual shift transfer case off of this extension housing. We're also going to take our shifter off and we are going to be bolting them up to our 4x4-4R70W. Uh, I gotta grab the gasket out of the truck and uh, once everything is all bolted back to all well, bolted together I will bring you guys back and we will probably conclude our video after that so I will see you guys shortly alrighty we got our transfer case all bolted up to our transmission I still need to swap over the mode selector for the uh, four wheel drive shifter however that's a matter of one bolt it'll only take me a minute or two to actually do um, however uh, my buddy is also going to cut the hole in the floor for me and put the shifter boot in place so probably won't bolt that up just right away now I do need to actually get one more uh, trans pan bolt there's one missing out of this uh, trans however that's no big deal. I can just steal one off of my uh, parts truck that I have at my dad's shop and I'll be heading past my dad's shop tomorrow so I'll just stop by on my way and grab it. And then um, probably middle of next week or the following Monday uh, this will be at my buddy's shop for him to install. So thanks for watching guys. Hope to see you soon where we have our 4x4 4R70W manual shift Borg Warner 1356 as well as our rear drive shaft, cross member, frame braces and shifter boot and shifter assembly all installed in our 96 F150 we are converting to four wheel drive. So like I said see you in the next video guys. Bye.